Hashem Hashem Nasev Nasiyach. This morning is another Limud Chasot, uh, and it's Tet Vav Yad Tav Shin Pe Dalet Avalin Tova, dedicated for Refuah Shlema of all the Chole Israel, especially for Refuah Shlema Ben Rivra, Sara Ben Sivia, Refuah Ben Ben Sara, Abraham Mischak Ben Rina. Kayla, Rivka, Bilima, Bat Gitel, Chaya Sara, and Bezat Hashem should be a source of Beracha for all the singers among Amistad, especially Eliana, Bat Dalia, Rabbi Yehuda Ben Yafa, Rabbi Eliyahu Ben Miriam, and Behnam Hillel Ben Maratimi. Elen Rana and Bezat Hashem should be a Ilui Nishmat of all the Niftare Israel, especially Bechat Rachel Bat Lachamim, Munire, Hanna Bat Meir, Michael Levit Ben Sara, and a very special other Kavanah that we should have should be a source of. Release and the freedom of all the hostages among Am Israel, especially and uh, all those who are in prison, especially David Ben uh, Marat Turan uh, Tova, and it uh, uh, should be for Arvin Netanel Ben Sonia. Is that Hashem? Okay, uh, we want to continue talking about Shabbat. As we know, we have uh, we have been working on Shemirat Shabbat. Ki Eshmer HaShabbat, El Eshmer Eni, that Shabbat is the Magor of Beracha. So, in the Kolel Mechanchim that we have, we've been learning about Shabbat in depth. So, it says in Parashat Yisro, Zachor et Yom HaShabbat, Dagadosho. Sheshet Yamim, Ta'avod, Ve'asita Kol Menachtecha, that one should remember Shabbat and sanctify it, six days work, and uh, do all your uh, everything that you need to do. The Yom Hashavi is Shabbat, and the seventh day should be Shabbat, which means, right? Uh, it should be a day of of La Hashem Elokecha to Hashem your Creator. Lo Tase Kol Melacha. And our Rosh Baruch says, do not do any Melacha. Ata, you should not do. Obenacha, your son, Obetacha, and and your daughter. Right, avatecha, your servant, right, ramatecha, bemtecha. So anything that you really, it belongs to you, even your animal, and even the gerecha, right, asher bisharecha. Even those who are under your, um, you know, control, and they 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 work for you, right, in your uh, gates, they should not be working. So that is in Parashat Yisro. Then there is another source in Parashat Mishpatim. That the Pasuk Yud Bet in Parashat Mishpatim says, I don't have the Perak here. Sheshet Yamim Ta'ase, I'm sorry, Sheshet Yamim Ta'ase Ma'asecha, Uba Yom HaShivi, Shabbat. That six days work and the seventh day should be Shabbat. Yanuach. Sholecha V'chamolecha, in the Pasuk says, that your uh, ox and your donkey, Vainafesh Ben Amatecha Vager, and the Ger and all those people again, all those belongings, living belongings, also they should rest. Okay, and then there is another source in Parashat Kitisa. Ushmatem et Ashabat ki Kodesh Hulachem. That one Yehudi should uh, keep Shabbat. Why? Because it's holy to you. Right. 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 And a person who desecrated, he should be uh, put to death. That whoever desecrates Shabbat, his nefesh will be cut from his nation. Right. This also this refers to karet. That a person who desecrates Shabbat. He would uh, he he would get heavenly death that is karet. He would be disconnected from Hakadosh Baruch Hu. He would not leave 
uh, full life. Apparently, uh, according to some opinions, if a person lives less than uh, 60, 60 right, then that means Lalinu, he got caught. Okay, so Rashi that says, Rashi, the, uh, one of the Mufashim says that if there is witnesses, by warning, then the mut yomar is applicable. Now, in other words, there has, to, there has to be two kosher witnesses that warn a person, you doing a avera, and then that person would be subject to mut yomar by bedin. By bedin. Rashi also holds benichleta below hetera, which means in order to get karet, right, not necessarily a person needs, uh, needs a warning. It's something between him and HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Now, Mishnah, Mishnah in Shabbat brings three primary cases of in, unintentional. Right? That we know there is uh, doing Avera B'mezid and there is doing uh, Avera right, B'shogek. Right? So, number one is Kelal Gadol Amru B'Shabbat. Kol ashokheach igar, that whoever forgets one, one of the main malachot, right? And then he, there is a lot of other toldot that comes, right? <clears throat> what, what would that case be? What is the uh, punishment? Even though, according to the first case of the Mishnah, once upon a time, if a person knew about Shabbat, right? he knew about Shabbat, he knew that Shabbat should not be desecrated, and he forgot about it. Right? The Chidush of the Rav and Shemuel in the, in the Mishnah is right, of the Tinuk Shenishpe. That, that the person who never had the education, never understood what is really keeping Shabbat. Is even though he never learned, he is not considered right, mit asek. Is not considered what is mit asek, that the person was occupied with something and uh, uh, because he wasn't sure, he, did, he wasn't aware of what has to be kept, he was over on an Isur, right? Uh, that the mit Aztec is Anus. So that's a Chidush. In this case, a person who didn't have the education, Tinuk uh, Shemishbe, and he was uh, involved with something else, and he desecrated Shabbat, he is considered Anus, and he would not get the death penalty or other uh, punishments of Bedin, which is totally exempt, which means this is a very big chidush. Now, such a person who never had the education, right? Never had the education, so he was doing something. Nobody warned him, nobody ta taught him, right? And he was, he desecrated Shabbat, right? He would not get the be uh, mita with the uh, with the bedin, right? And he would not get caught. He is the case of anus. He is totally exempt. That is here, even though he never had any knowledge whatsoever, he still needs to bring at least one korban. When in the time of Beit Hamikdash, he would bring one korban, and this would be atonement for him. So that is chidush number one. So this is again the series that we are studying. And, uh, and, and, and uh, the Halachot uh, Shabbat, and Bezat Hashem, we continue next session. Bezat Hashem, the Zechut of Shabbat should be a protection to all of us. Now, a big chidush that I, I recently uh, learned. So, <clears throat> the mitzvah of Tosefet Shabbat, as we know, is a very important mitzvah. Right? Now, according to uh, according to one of the uh, according to one of the explanations, I think Rabbi, Rabbi Biderman Shalita brings this that when a person keeps to Sefer Shabbat, is not like adding to Shabbat; it's actually like another Shabbat. So that which the Chachamim says, say if we would keep two Shabbatot con consecutively, we would be redeemed. That can be accomplished. By Tosefet Shabbat. Because Tosefet Shabbat is like a whole new Shabbat again. Right? So, one who keeps one Shabbat with Tosefet Shabbat, 
is like two consecutive Shabbatot. As the Chidush that Baran be Mefarshim says, and our Rabbi Devan Shlita brings it. Baruch Adonai Leolam. Amen. Amen. Amen.